Hey yo! Wolf Heart here with another review for you guys. This one is a doozy. I usually do, as you know, one liquid per review. But today, since I'm going to be tackling Royal Tea, I might as well do two liquids in one go. Because, sorry for the stupid accent, I'm going to tackle in the forbidden clouds. Hmm. Let me just clean the lens a little bit. Way better. I'm going to be reviewing two forbidden clouds liquids. One of them, it's what you can consider the classic custard. Wow, with a little bit of difference. And the other is one of my freaking favorite, if not my favorite liquid, liquid of all time. So, without further ado, I present you Vanilla Lord by Forbidden Clouds and the almighty, the whole ruling Bourbon Lord. So, this is, a, as, it, as I already told you, Forbidden Clouds is a Portuguese brand. It's a Portuguese illiquid brand. And it's currently having uh, is premium exclusive. Woo! Did you at my favorite shop in Portugal? So it's a marriage, a perfect marriage. At why not the board? So who should I pick first? It's like being asked to the prom by the two most beautiful ladies in the school. Let's start with a classic. Let's start with something that most brands do, which is the custard. I believe that, that in the vaping world, the custard is pretty much like uh, the vanilla, um, how to say, the vanilla ice cream or the cream ice cream, because it's one of those industry standards, but at the same time, you can definitely try to understand the brand and how good the brand is by judging its standards. And this is, uh, how to say in English, not burnt, but the toasted vanilla bean in the custard. And for me, I already know the flavor and I've, I have been vaping it for a while now. But for me, and a little bit in the same line as Beard and Poor House, uh, Forbidden Clouds has managed to create um, a custard, a vanilla custard that is, of course, tastes like vanilla custard, but it's managed to settle apart from other custards. So, I'm gonna pump this baby up in 555. Five, five. If you're 5. Wait. If you're 555, five, five, then I'm 666. Six, six. Slip not everybody. No. Okay. Just beautiful. Exactly. It has that classic custard vanilla uh, caramel taste, but it was uh, made with the all day vape intention. Because, and I told this numerous time, each time I review uh, custard, I've done, I said this over and over and over again, but although I freaking love custards, they can be overwhelming and sickening. For me, the Vanilla Lord is an all-day vape custard, which is something hard to achieve. Uh, in this category, I also include the Beer 24, and uh, a couple of custards, but this is on top. And to be fair, and you guys know I'm, I'm unbiased. Sorry, you know you guys know I'm unbiased. I'll give it an eight point five out of ten. It produces a really good quality vapor. I'm not, just not pumping it up because I don't want to. 
but it produces a good quality vapor, but this is more flavor. This is for the flavor chasers, not for, well, it's not, oh, you're a cloud chaser, go away. But no, this is a 60-40 liquid, so it's not recommended for cloud chasing, but of course, even in a full PG, you can try to chase some clouds. And you have that toast, um, toasty and tasty undertone, which really settles it apart. I really love this liquid. Perhaps it's time for one of my famous montages. Let me just juice up this baby a little more and pop up the, the wattage so you guys can... Doo -doo -doo. It smells amazing. It actually smells a lot sweeter than it tastes like. Let me open the airflow, airflow, airflow. Okay, since I made a Slipknot reference, let's be a little bit devilish. Okay, this was just delightful. Wait, and yeah, now let me just clean the the cotton a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm still rocking um, uh, native wick, native wicks. Yeah, these babies are so good for flavor. God damn. You've seen, I did the chain vaping, I didn't use much liquids, and I, I was at uh, 66 watts, 0. 0.6, I know it's not that much, this baby can go up to 200, I still haven't done the f uh, firmware update, but you see how much I vaped with the same coil, uh, with the same cotton, without putting anything. Still going strong. Let me do another mini chain vaping. Okay, now the flavor age is changing. Now for the the real deal, the real McCoy. The first liquid I ever tried by Forbidden Clouds. It was not even named Forbidden Clouds at that time. The Bourbon Lord. This was the first liquid that I fell had over heels for. I lie. The first one was the cinnamon one by uh, Beard. But this was the second one. This stuff is just amazing. It has... Let me do a proper review, let me first try and not talk by experience, because this deserves my full attention. It's just like sipping on bourbon, but it has a slight touch of custard. So for me, it's heaven. My favorite uh, alcohol beverage is Jack Daniels, the bourbon. I know it's not, oh, the finest of bourbons, but I really like. And you know that vanilla bourbon is a thing. There's a lot of uh, chocolates that, especially white chocolates that have uh, vanilla bourbon and 
I actually think that vanilla bourbon is a type of bourbon. Whatever. But this is uh, bourbon as in whiskey, uh, as in bourbon. As for the ratio, it's the same thing, 60-40, uh, and for the flavor, it's just maize balls. <laughs> this liquid was originally developed not as an all-day vape, and it, not, it is not an all-day vape, although it's not sickening. Uh, in a way that you cannot have it as an all-day vape. Let me rephrase this. It was designed to be a uh, liquid for special occasions. F for example, when you drink uh, a glass of bourbon after dinner just to digest and wind down after the day. This is a liquid with that intention. Although it's uh, soft enough that you can vape all day long without getting sick of it. And I really, really enjoy it. Let me crank it. Sorry, my phone stopped recording for some reason. But as I was saying, let me crank up the volume a little bit. Let's do 70 this time. Wait. Wait. 70. This is just amazing. This is pure enjoyment. I really freaking love this liquid. And as for most Forbidden Clouds, it has that specific taste. I cannot really put into words, but they all have this slight note that makes them all so similar. So damn similar. Well, the note itself, because of course the Red Savage that I already reviewed. Okay, the vanilla and the bourbon lord are kind of similar because they play with the same uh, profile, but um, they have a note that I don't know how he does it, but he ha it has a note that is. You can see that it's a family. The liquids are a family. Sorry, I kind of got taken away. So there you have it. The double review for the royalty of uh, Forbidden Clouds. You have the Magnificent Bourbon Lord and the, the Excellent Vanilla Lord. I really love... Wait! I really like the fact that it's in Chevy Gorilla. And you can see this is not a knockoff chubby gorilla. It's it's the actual chubby gorilla. And these bottles are just so damn practical. They are a little bit better than the unicorn bottles. I know the, these are unicorn style bottles, but I don't know. I just love them to death. So guys, as always, keep doing what you do. They pawn, they part, wolf art. Out!